2016 back to you with more figure reviews today we will be looking at the um, movie masters man of steel and well this should be good for you guys and I am gonna start using this again one moment please well Sorry about our delays. I have delayed a little because of, well, I just say recent technical difficulties, literally. And, well, of all things to do, let's go into a review. So, as I'm hoping you guys can see this, I'm going to use my friendly phone right here to show me. Yep. You guys can see this, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at his base first. And as you can see, well, you can see it's like textured and it has the S. Pretty small. Yeah, well, has a nice texture. On to the figure. And hopefully. I'll be able to do this. Ugh. There we go. Alright, so as we can all see, this is a very stiff figure right now. I have no idea why, but he wasn't stiff earlier. That's what she said. <laughs> Alright, so... Yeah, basic warning. You can split his neck in half. Um, mine kind of did, but I push his head back to hold that still. But let's get on with the texturing and articulation. He has the nice design all the way around him. Really cool texture. He has a really nice metallic-like paint job for all the lines and sculpts. His wrist looks nice. His hand, his fists look a little too much maybe I don't know they're bigger than his wrists like bigger than his wrists but yeah his face sculpt is very nice as you can see he has the great you know texturing in his face um his hair is really nicely done really like his hair really nice sculpt his s is really nice his boots are really nicely done and sadly he is not as super articulated <laughs> finally got a freaking thing for that but yeah he's not super articulated as other movie masters figures like the dark knight i am i do not have him unless of course I want to walk all the way across my room to get him. I do not feel like doing that. Because that just wastes time. So we're going to look. Nice skin tone. Nice quality. We're going to go into his cape first. He has a nice black wash here and there. I got him on clearance. I'm pretty sure. Unless of course they were lying to me. But yeah. So you can see it looks like his cape is like formed right here together but that like gives it a more realistic effect it's really nice heavy cape weighs him down a little though and I'm pretty sure you can detach the cape if you like rip the rubber inside of his back and then you wouldn't have a cape on him unless you reattached it and I have done that before with one here we go uh, here's just basically what it is, except it doesn't have the ring, it has like two little things going on his shoulders. Really nice figure afterwards, but yeah, you can see he has a hole in his back now. But all you have to do is attach it to his head, and then if you can see that, all you have to do is plug that in there. Then it looks... Like, and the only reason I did that is because his cape is huge. I'm guessing it should be, though. You know, let's put him out there. Now, onto the articulation. 
of this figure. And then, you know, size comparisons. But yeah, his head moves all the way around. Looks up pretty much not at all. His head looks down really well, though. And his neck does split in half. Just a bit. And more, his arm moves out more than the Dark Knight. And it moves all the way around just like the Dark Knight. It biceps swivel just like Dark Knight's. A uh, Dark Knight also has like a wobble on like this one. This one bends 90 degrees at the elbow just like the Dark Knight. Um, they both have the same waist, I mean wrist swivel. They do have waist swivel, but uh, he does not have the Dark Knight's chest. Well, ab crunch. His leg moves forward, Batman's moves farther forward. His moves back a little, but that warps some of the um, back. His legs move out, Dark Knight's move out more. Swivels here, just like the Dark Knight. Um, bends at his knee, Dark Knight bends more, I believe. His ankles move forward, and they move backward. The Dark Knights move a little better. Otherwise, completely even, just blindly in sight of me. Um, so yeah, would I say get this figure? Oh, plus his legs get a little weak. Um, would I say get this figure? Yes, definitely get this figure. I did just get him the other night. He has been a pretty good figure. But yeah, would I get him? Yeah, sure. I mean, get him while he's there. But yeah, get him. And for size comparison time, we are going to compare him to two figures. And two, two. We're going to compare him to Injustice Gods Among Us. Batman and Marvel Legends. Iron Man 3, Heroic Age, or Bleeding Edge Iron Man. And he works in pretty good scale. I mean, sure, he's freaking taller than both of them. Probably bigger than both of them, too, but... Yeah, well, all, all three of them would actually go in a great scale together. And, well, yeah, so... Great scale, um, I would say, um, if you really wanted a good selling figure, I would say either go with a nice, more shiny design, like this one, or a completely metallic design, like him. Otherwise, make a translucent variant. That would be sick. But yeah, thank you for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, subscribe. Like if you like it, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye.